So we need to push this and get to him. You can see that these levers are activating bridges that we can then cross. Soul of a proud knight. This is a bad situation to be in. Trapped behind respawning skeletons. Let us get out of there. And get across that bridge to go find that necromancer. There's the, the stab that we were waiting for. There's another stab. Whoops. We're just going to roll to avoid them. There we go. Give him hell. Give the skeleton hell. And line up the stab. Line up the stab. And fierce attacks will just knock the skeletons down. So they'll always reassemble there. They just haven't lost all of their health yet. Um, right here, these will drop you down if you're not careful. Be careful. And more careful than I was. Not the end of the world, but also not ideal. You roll through there. Ooh, you get a white tight nut chunk, which you can use for, I think, making a uh, blessed type weapons upgrade high. Upgrade to high level. Unfortunately, those statues hardly hurt at all. And we can just climb back up to here. Not the same spot that we dropped down into. Not entirely sure. What to do here? Can we drop down into this? Okay, we can just drop down into that. And that... Actually, will take us... Uh, oh, we're back over here. Lame. Lame, lame. This is where we were trapped by skeletons. And let's see here. This is probably a new necromancer skeleton. That's not a respawn. That's just, again, I didn't kill him. I only knocked him down. Yep, and we do hear him respawning back there. After all, so we need to find that necromancer. He could be down, or he could be over here. Wherever he is, he is annoying. And his skeletons are creating problems for us. We are really, really getting ourselves into trouble here. We need out of that door badly. I also got to get that health restored. Is that going to disappear by any chance? Oh, no. Alright, we are bleeding and dying. Nothing good is happening right now. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just push this lever, make sure that we at least get some forward progress in this game. And it turns out you can actually drop down right here to this, and then to this. Get a green tight night shard for yourself, for your troubles. Then I think that is just the final drop there. We're out of Estus Flask. Well, that is unfortunate.
And that is how you find a skeleton blacksmith. You can upgrade your weapons to fire. And he can make fire weapons from plus five. But we do not really want any of that right now. We might as well repair our equipment. By the way, there's nothing wrong with your speakers or uh, the video. He is just a very, very weird sounding NPC. And now we are actually in a very, very dangerous place. Because those wheel guys will actually just kill you if they hit you. They pretty much just spin until all of your health is gone. And that is what they do. Oh, my, my, my. We have a Gravekeeper over here. Gotta make sure he goes down. Oh, good. Now I've got, got some of these to enjoy over here. Even if you block those, uh, those wheel guys, they still can deal a substantial amount of damage to you. I'll go ahead and use a humanity to restore my health. I don't know that that is the best idea. But. Gotta try and go forward sometime. Why not now? So roll to avoid those guys. Like I said, they will just lock you in place and absolutely mow your health down. If you let them get a hold of you. But if you can make it through, you will be with this boss. And we are awfully buff for this boss, so we're pretty much, uh, pretty much just gonna rush him down and swing away. That will be the easiest boss that you ever see in any Souls game. So now we can use more humanity to kindle bonfires more times. We get the Mask of the Father that increases the equip burden that we have slightly. Sometimes you can use it to create better lineups of equipment. And now we are in the Tomb of the Giants. Hasn't informed us of that yet, but we are. And this place sucks when you first get to it because you probably don't have anything to see with. But, you do need to be able to make it through. There we go. There's a bridge across here. And you can see those eyes. Yeah, that's an angry, angry giant skeleton. We would love to be able to run through here right now, considering we don't have much health at all. Not much health. But... It 
it's awfully hard to run through when you can't see at all. You will find a way of uh, of having light here in the very near future, but for now, pretty much stuck with very very little. But if you come over here, once you get down riding those and uh, riding those casket lids, you can come down here and you'll actually find a bonfire. Yeah. One really nice thing about doing this part this late in the game is that you can warp out if you decide that uh, if you decide that this is all a little bit much. But otherwise, trying to make it back out of here without anything to see with is outrageously difficult. I'm going to go ahead and kindle this flame. Mostly just kindled that flame because we were carrying around two humanity. And I would rather have two flame or two humanity into kindling the bonfire, then I would have two humanity gone because I tried to hold on to it and died. Good day. Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? He happens to hate clerics, so go ahead and answer no to this one. Qualms telling me there's a fine stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it first, but well, we're friends now. I'll split it with you. In any case, have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I trust this guy for sure. Well, I'll go uh, have a look over this edge. Well, it turns out that, as a matter of fact, there are actually treasures down here, souls, and also a uh, a lantern that finally allows us to see something. Anything, in fact. Can't really see much of anything. Out the lantern around here. It works like a shield, you just hold the uh, left trigger to hold it up and light your way. And there is actually an NPC down here. If I can find her. Yeah, and there's also these guys. But they are awfully difficult if you, you know, are low level enough that Pinwheel was difficult. You can see that they are taking about as many hits apiece as he did. But I'm not so tough at this point. The land filled with your hollow fiddling. It pains me to think of the trouble my failings have caused. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. 
Here, these belong to them. You deserve them more than I. Replenishment. A miracle. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. 